Station. And today we get to hear about a great program at the University of Southern Miss. They are covering the gap between federal tuition assistance and the remaining course tuition for TA approved hours for our veterans. I think that's a good thing. Joining us to tell us a little bit more is Major General Jeff Hammond of U.S. Army Retired. Hey, General. Hey, Rebecca, how are you today? I'm not complaining. It is a beautiful day. It's not quite as warm as I'd like it, but it's not as cold as I hate it. So we're doing good here in Central. How is it in the Pine Belt? It couldn't be better. We're with you on that all the way. Uh, another great day. You know, we know the secret here at USM. Just being alive is pretty good, and that's good enough. I agree. That's a good way to look at it. Hey, this is a great program. You, uh, you, Southern Miss has really set the stage or set itself apart as making sure that they help veterans come back and finish degrees or get degrees the best they can. And this is just another opportunity to do that. So tell us about the TA GAP funding program. Well, super. Uh, the, the, you know, a, a gap, a financial gap exists between what military federal tuition assistance pays for our service members to attend college and the actual tuition cost. So, for example, the federal tuition only pays 250 per semester hour. So for a three-hour course, uh, the soldier, sailor, air, and marine is getting $750. However, it costs here at USM 1155 for a three-hour course. So there's a gap between what the government gives these kids and what the actual cost. And so this gap, you know, somehow it just didn't seem right to us. We as a university family should sit back and allow that. So we took initiative. Dr. Joe Paul uh, immediately jumped on this. So beginning with the fall semester of 2023, USM will fund the difference between what the military federal tuition pays and the actual tuition cost for tu- uh, service members enrolled and utilizing this program. So it's big. It's major. We're one of the few schools in the nation to be doing this. And the bottom line, it's all about the service member, doing what's right for our National Guard, our Army, our reservists, and then, of course, our active duty members. Is that for anyone wanting to come back and complete a degree or maybe even, you know, start later on after they've come back from a deployment or maybe just took a few gap years of their own um, from college? Or are there any other stipulations around it? Well, it's primarily aimed at those that are in one of three categories, either currently on active duty, deployed or not deployed. I deployed an Army division, the 4th Division, to Iraq, and, and, and the youngsters there, when they they had time they could work online towards their degree and it was a great thing so it's active duty any branch of the service um it's the reserve component of the service or in our case the mississippi army national guard or national guard members uh who apply for and receive the federal tuition assistance uh through that program we're going to cover that gap so it's a it's a wide net of people that it applies to and it's really unique different and uh kind of groundbreaking, I think, in meeting the needs and honoring those that honor us by protecting our nation and and our individual rights and freedoms. It's one of those things you kind of scratch your head and go, why weren't we already doing this? This makes perfect sense, you know, to give them the opportunity to further their education or to finish up a degree. And you did mention, General, that it can be online or in person. So if they are deployed or maybe, you know, not necessarily where they can get to USM's campus every day, they have options. Without question. In fact, I would probably suggest that uh, both online or on campus, but it really supports the online student. It supports that young sergeant uh, in the National Guard who's working an eight-hour day and has a family with three kids, and he, and he wants to move ahead and get a degree. Well, he can do this online class now, and it's not going to take any money out of him or his family's pocket. Either the, univer- the university is going to pick up the gap, and, and we're going to be there to help them see it through. So when can we start enrolling? Um, As soon as the, you know, starts with the fall semester 2023, I would suggest a couple days. For those that are interested, contact us. Um, Either call us at 601-266-8381, or we create a website specifically for this program, and it's at uh, usm.edu slash ta-gap, usm.edu slash ta-gap. Uh, in content, we'll start to get you, in, you know, you apply for admission. If you're already enrolled, then all you've got to do is, is we start to get probably halfway through the spring semester and you're leaning forward to the fall semester coursework, uh, 
get in the application process, and we'll take care of it with you. You know, General Hammonds, the last time I think we had you here on Good Things, it was celebrating the opening of the Center for Military Veterans. And so how is that facility and everything going in that department? I mean, it looks like you're doing what you said you would, get out there and help our veterans to have an opportunity at, at education. Wow. You know, Rebecca, I, one word sums it up, blessed. In other words, so blessed. We're uh, this the construction of the building has opened up a whole new chapter in the life of uh, this university, and, and particularly our military students, our veterans, and our families. It's this has become the place you go to for help. I mean, we're the only building you can go to anywhere in uh, I think maybe the southeast of the United States where everything gets resolved. We have not only a full time VA vet service officer in our building, we also have a full time VA uh, vet success on campus officer in our. But we have everything in here. So you don't got to wait in line. You don't got to be told no. Uh, instead, we're, we're, our mission here is to find a way to turn a no into a yes and make your life better. So it, it's doing great stuff, and we're loving every minute of it. Well, I love that, you know, USM is my alma mater, uh, Southern Miss to the top. And so I love that they're yeah. sort of positioning themselves as sort of the one-stop shop for those in the military, you know, to make it easy and accessible and now affordable for them to get uh, their education. And when you're thinking about the pool of potential, do you know or have you all thought of, like, how many, you know, are out there that could take advantage of this, that could come and get their degrees there at Southern Miss now with this uh, gap funding program? You know, I, I gave Dr. Joe Paul a number. I don't want to put that out there just yet, but um, it's a big number. I, I fully expect that, particularly at the Mississippi National Guard and our reserves, and as we get out to places like Fort Hood, Texas, Keesla Air Force Base, Gulfport Naval Air Station, as we, are, as we get out to these locations and start to make this known, I think at the first glance they're going to say, what is this? And once they look at it, they're going to say, oh, my goodness. I don't. I, I need to say I need to do it now because it's not going to cost anything. So I think, I think the the potential for an increasing number of military people to pursue their degrees through this program is absolutely safe to say it's an unlimited number. Oh, General Hammond, I didn't even think about those not living in Mississippi. That's, you know, I, I focus really on the good things here, so I'm thinking about our Mississippi residents, servicemen and women. But, man, like you, you're you right, it really does expand the opportunity of those that, you know, could come to, um, you know, the Pine Belt to call home or to just take part in the education online. Wow, that's a big pool. <laughs> that's a big well, number. Well, it, you know, it really is, Rebecca. We we put up uh, some billboards right outside the largest Army base in the world, Fort Hood, Texas, and announcing this program. We just were there just last week meeting with people, talking to them about it, and the interest is bubbling rather rapidly. Uh, in fact, I've got a couple of uh, emails from alumni with pictures of billboards who live there outside Fort Hood saying, wow, what's this all about? We're excited. So, um, you know, I, I think about the young uh officer enlisted kid that's out at a place like Fort Hood and they want to better themselves and they want to do it through higher education and now they see there's light at the end of the tunnel because it's it's not going to cost them. It's not going to hit their pocketbook. It's not going to take away from their quality time to do special things with their families because USM is going to fill that gap. And not only that, our online programs here are tailor-made to the military population in many, many regards. And so we're Man, we're just having fun with this. We're so excited. Well, I'm excited, too, and I'm excited for those listening to good things. Maybe it doesn't necessarily, you know, affect you directly, but if you know a service uh, member or you have one in your family, sort of spread the word. And if you have, you know, young people who are trying to make that decision whether to enlist or not and thinking about education, I know that's one of the big uh, pushes for for young adults to sort of make that leap is because of the opportunities for education to be paid for. I mean, it's a huge it's a huge perk to to calling to to taking the call to serve. Well, it, it is, and you know, one of the hardest things I've found in my thirty two years in the military, where I, I me, mean, my wife, my family lived our life supporting soldiers, was was the tough decision to. to pursue a, a higher education because you, they often wonder, well, am I good enough? Can I compete? Can I do it? Well, yes, you, they, they are good enough. They're better than good enough, number one. But number two, you have this vet center, the Center for Military Veterans here on this campus, which uh, we take it to heart. We take it seriously. It's our job to, hold, to, to lock arms with you, stand shoulder to shoulder, back to back, and help you through this challenge to help you get that degree and get that education, to open windows down the road for you and your family 
for advancement. Well, I love it, General Hammond. I can't wait till you're back because that means you got something more good to share. But I hope everyone shares the word about this today, and I appreciate your time. Well, thank you so much, and God bless America, and thank you for what you do. All righty. You guys stick with us. we got more for you coming up next.